You know what I love? Um, <clears throat> baklava. Actually, yes, I do. Oh, yes. I love it when you see a, a, a on a breakdown for an audition for a role. Mm -hmm. It says that the character has, um, it's a day player role, and it says the character has one speech. And then for the audition, they send you the sides, and it's one sentence. <laughs> it's a good speech. Great speech. Great speech. Yeah. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Yep Corbin. To speech or not to speech? That is the breakdown. Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Juicy. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on the official Twitter account. Subscribe and hit the date at the like the button. You ever watch the Mindy Project? <coughs> God bless you. <coughs> Double portion. With Mindy Kaling? No, with Bob Saget. Yes. Yeah, you've seen Mindy Project before? No. Oh, well, then never mind. Yep. I'm glad you didn't talk to me. Anyways, today we got an old song with uh, Salman Khan, I hey. believe is his name, and you Kar Karishmu Kapoor. Interesting. Read this. Where? Muj se shadi karogi, dulhan humle jiangi. Read this. Uh, for some context, Shapna Karishma lives with her three doting but eccentric uncles on a Palm Care, Om Puri, and Parishwawa. Those are some eccentric And uncles. each one wants her to marry a man like himself. Raja, Salman Khan, goes on a quest to get their approval by pretending to be three different men, <laughs> each matching one uncle's preferred personality. <laughs> Until, of course, it blows up in their faces. All three uncles appear in this song with the leads, hence the context. Enjoy. That's such an old school, like, pre pretending to be multiple people. That used to be such a, a, a movie plot. Yeah. Um, or actors playing a ton of different characters yeah. in films. Yeah. You don't do it as much anymore. No. I guess the comedy just... I don't miss it. Doesn't work. Yeah. Um, it worked for something back then. Like, uh, Eddie Murphy did it. Eddie Murphy did it quite a bit. Um, and then um, Jack, Jack Black and Tropic Thunder made fun of it in his little trailer in the um, beginning of uh, Tropic Thunder. And uh, Adam the, the other one who times. does it is the one who does the Mama's House stuff. Um, oh, Medea. Yeah, Medea. Um, <clears throat> I mean, but yeah, it just doesn't... Technically, Robin did it famously in probably the most yeah. famous pretending to be a woman movie. Would you say that's the most famous pretending to be a woman movie? In current vernacular, yeah. I'm, I, I'm old enough to also include Tootsie. Yeah, but I think more people know. They do. This is Doubtfire. They do. Um, but Tootsie's a great movie. No. Anyways, here we go. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Ooh, need a Tic Tac. <laughs> Now, now we got to go back up. Oversized suit. It's not his fault, but she's a better dancer than he is. <laughs> oh, good. I don't know. Girls here. <laughs> That's how he walks into everywhere. Rico Suave. <laughs> but he's going to take it off. Do 
you remember Paula Roche? Yes. He's always reminding me of Paula Remind you of Paula Roche? <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know who that is. Very, yeah, yeah, fun, fun. Um, it was, it was a ton of like, I don't know what it's called, electronic sounds put into that song. Yeah, like a, yeah. And I was like, what is, what is happening? And it went from white hot to kind of quiet, and then it got hot again. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah, it's such a funny concept, <laughs> pretending to be three different people. Nobody catches. You know, right, that, that that's the same person. That he's the exact same person. Um, it's just it was, it's just a funny concept of back in the day. Why did dumb concepts work? Just because cinema was newer. Yeah, I guess probably. Like old tropes weren't old tropes, right? They were they were all new, right? Because nobody had tried them yet. Yeah. Um, and now that if we've seen decades upon decades, almost a hundred years, uh, even more, I guess now, right? A hundred years of cinema. Yeah, has been out. Everybody, we've seen almost everything. And they come and go because once it's out of everybody's consciousness, it can be go away for a while and then it can be, have a resurgence, especially with a younger audience who didn't grow up with it. Yeah. So. Um, a lot of these movies are really good for nostalgia. Yeah. And stuff like that. Um, sometimes it's just, it's wonderful to be in that world um, that I like. Um, but yeah, you guys can let us know about this film uh, with Salman Khan and Karishma, and Karishma Kapoor. Kapoor. One of my favorite names, by the way. Is it Krishma? I think it's a great name. Yeah. It, in terms of all the names from India. That, and then, um, what's Akshay's wife's name? Oh, uh, Twinkle. Twinkle. I love that name. Yeah. Too. I think that's a really cool name. Um, trying to think of what other names I like. What other names do you like? There's a ton of them that I like. They're so unique. They're so definitively Indian. Mm -hmm. I'm obviously I'm very partial to Indrani. Um, he's got a sound effect for that. Oh, oh, Indrani! Bone do. <laughs> you have to put the bone do on the. You end. do. You have to put the bone do. <laughs> um, do you tell? Her, I'll give you my bone do. <laughs> I'm going to now. Oh, oh Indrani! Pull quast! <laughs> I pressed the wrong one, sorry. <coughs> no, of celebrities. 
Uh, yeah, there's a ton anytime, of really unique, wonderful names. Anytime Twinkle and Charisma's names come up, I'm like, I like those names a lot. I think they're cool names. I, I can't think. I really am thinking about all all of the names. I can't think of any that I don't particularly like. I find them to be so interesting and so uniquely Indian. And um, I remember one of the first names we heard that I found so intriguing was Kalki Kaiklin. Kalki's a cool one. Isn't that a cool name? Kalki Kaiklin. Yeah. Kalki. Kiki. And I, I have a, there's a musicality to Topeka Paragon that is just the best. Topeka Paragon. And then. Uh, but that's a very pretty name, Deepika. So is a Shwarya. That's just. Shwarya is a great name. Shwarya is a beautiful very name. Very common for India, though. Yeah. A Shwarya. I think Rithik is a cool name and that it looks cool, cool with its, its spelling. Yeah, that was a cool one, too. And um, Bob. Yeah. Cool that one. really popular Indian name, Bob. Yeah, he's a great assassin, if you ask me. <laughs> All of the Bobs out there. I saw this. It came up for some reason on a YouTube shorts. For some reason, I was watching a, a short, and then the next one that came up. It was um, Bollywood um, Smasher Pass. Oh, yeah. And it's so interesting. To and see Johnny and I do that all the time. It's so interesting to see people's... Indian, because they usually ask Indians because they're the ones that will, will know them. Um, like, <laughs> but they put up like Rithik and they're like smash, and then they put up like Shah Rukh Khan. Obviously, all the Indians are smash, or, or a lot of the Indians actually said old Shah Rukh Khan, yes, current Shah Rukh Khan, no. Oh, which I find ridiculous. I do too. He's still he's, he's good looking, a very man. handsome man. But then they put up, they put up Little B, <laughs> and it wasn't a good, it wasn't a good picture of Little B. And he's not like the most attractive man you've ever seen, but it was a really bad picture. And then they just laughed and said no. Aww. I said felt so bad. I was like, he gets, Aww. He gets, he gets so disrespected. He, he does. I mean, I get it. He's he's probably the biggest Nepo baby in, yeah. in, in, in Bollywood because of who his father is. And he'll always get compared to the greatness of it. And he's not, he'll never be as great as his father as an yeah. actor. Uh, maybe as a dancer. No, but <laughs> la last night Andrani gave me, because we'll do the, okay, here are the two you have to choose from. They're standing at the doors. You have to choose one or the other. And last night she gave me Selma Hayek or Sofia Vergara. Uh, because she knows my type. Because uh, Andrani is my type. Oh. Uh, Neither for me, but uh, neither. Yeah, you don't find either one of those. I think they are attractive. I'm not saying they're not attractive, but whoa, they are not my. I would guess. Yeah, that, that's I guess true. Out of those you two? choose Zoe Deschanel before oh. you choose them. Zoe Deschanel. See, I know Corbin. Zoe Stace. Deschanel, Emma yep. Stone, yep. Roddy Gaup. Like yep. <laughs> any unique uh, lady with a great oh, my personality. Stars. I, I guess ladies. out of those two, Selma Hayek would be my pick. Yeah, but Sofia. Vergara. It was tough. We were looking at pictures. Sofia Vergara. Very attractive. Gorgeous woman. No doubt. No Gorgeous doubt. Gorgeous woman. Just not my type. I would never. Oh, my stars. I would never, like, if she was there, like, yes! I'd be like, you're you're attractive. No. Vo I like it. Voluptuous, uh, dark hair. I Sophia, I think, looks better when her hair is, is 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 darker, but she also, she's one of those rare people who also looks good with blonder hair. Uh, but both of those women are just staggeringly beautiful to me. No, I And that's why, and Johnny knows. Yeah, that's I why could she pick, chose. like, 50 people over them. At least. Good grief. At least. No. Yeah. They're in my top ten. No. Without question. Well, you're an idiot. Without hey, question. welcome back to our... Wait, what? Wow! It felt like an intro. So I was just going into... Uh, I was just going into... Uh, <laughs> uh, Is that what happens when you finish? You start again? Yeah. Wow, what a guy. Uh, anyways. That's the end. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Let us know what other songs we can react to down below. Josh!